Hey everybody, welcome to another uh, hiatus vlog. Uh, today I think will be a little bit quicker than the last couple have been. Uh, let's cut to the meat of the vlog. As you can tell from the title of the YouTube video, uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, from my last vlog, I mentioned uh, Guild Wars 2, that I've been playing that a little bit uh, with uh, Marty Cannell from Rolling Dice and Taking Names. He's been talking about that game to me for years. And, uh, you know, and I got that, uh, that deal uh, for, uh, they had a sale on it, so I grabbed it. And I'll put a link to that as well. But one of the folks that works for ArenaNet, which is the company that makes Guild Wars 2, uh, reached out to me and has given me a couple of keys to get the full game and all the expansions. I know it's a board game channel, but uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. And so if you just leave a comment on the video here, then uh, I will enter you and then I'll probably give the key away. Uh, well, a couple of keys actually. So there'll be a couple of winners. And like I said, it gives you the expansions. I think there's two expansions in the base game. And then there's like uh, another key that goes with it that gives you like some extra perks and stuff, some bags and special pets and things like that. Uh, so there'll be a couple of winners there. Leave a comment and then we'll have winners probably by next week. I think, and I don't really use it on an exact schedule, but about a week. Um, so I wanted to mention that out the gate. And then also I was putting together like some more stuff, you know, to mention we've been talking about uh, Yucata and Tabletop Simulator and Tabletopia and all this kind of stuff to play games online. And a lot of publishers uh, in the board game industry are putting together a lot of free stuff. And I started like making my own little list of stuff to talk about this week. But somebody on Board Game Geek has put together a geek list and had like all the stuff except for one thing, which I added to the geek list, um, that people have been putting together. So there's just a lot of stuff. I mean, Asthma Day has some free print and play stuff. Uh, Cards Against Humanity has like a family edition, which is interesting. And uh, they have an interesting thing. If you're not even interested in going, go to the site and then check out how you buy it. There's some, they do some interesting stuff that that company's uh, <laughs> known for. I got a kick out of it. Um, you know, and then there's the Frostgrave stuff, which I mentioned last week. I'll just put a link to uh, the Geek List in the description here, and you'll see the other stuff. And the one thing that's come across that was new that I had to add to the list was uh, um, Modifius uh, is making a new game called, uh, based on the Elder Scrolls on the Oblivion and I think, no, it's Skyrim, I'm sorry. It's more based on Skyrim. Sorry, I confused those games. But it's an Elder Scrolls game, miniature game. And the rules are free, and there's a couple other supplements for free. And they did the Fallout Wasteland Warfare game uh, last year or two years ago now. And that was a pretty fun game. This looks like it's kind of the same system, but maybe like kind of a 2.0 of that system. And then a little bit more, you know, fantasy-based. And there's a line of miniatures and stuff. But the rules are free. Uh, so you can pull that down and uh, dink around with it. Uh, you know, maybe some of the miniatures you already have. Or, or I think the... The miniatures, I think, are available right now. But anyway, you can go to this geek list and check out uh, all that stuff. And then the other only thing that I think that I've seen is um, uh, HBO is doing, like, free streaming. That's not really game-related, but, you know, there's a lot of nerdy things that they have TV shows about. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cool. And uh, so before I jump into uh, some other stuff not gaming related uh, i should mention that so i'm i'm going to be doing the contest or giveaway for uh the guild wars 2 keys if you don't win that listen to a rolling dice and taking names podcast i think coming out um at the time of this posting it'll be a, a little less than two weeks from the time that this video goes up on youtube uh so they will be giving away some keys and stuff as well so and give them a listen because i listen to them all the time and I know, I already tell you my friends, but I do really do enjoy the podcast anyway. So give them a listen. And so I wanted to kind of get that stuff out of the way and then just talk about some other things that uh, folks have shared with me, you know, kind of related to this whole situation that we're in. And I try not to be too preachy or, you know, down and depressing and, you know, too tongue in cheek, you know, you know, everything's going to be great and that kind of stuff. But these are just kind of real things that, um, that I've just had to encounter, you know, kind of through doing these vlogs. Um, and the one, this is the most interesting thing, is uh, I got a message from a fellow named Scott Cole. And I'm just going to read you his message. I asked him if I could read it, uh, you know, verbatim. And he said that was fine. 
So I'm just going to read it now. So forgive me a little bit here. It says, Joel, I'm on the Pentagon's COVID-19 crisis management team. And I can tell you that there are a lot of high speed dedicated folks in the Department of Defense and agencies that are working their butts off to make sure we are responding the best we can everywhere we're needed. I work on the logistics team, getting all the masks, respirators, and other personal equipment rounded up, excuse me, personal pr protective equipment rounded up and sent to where they are needed. Also managing the deployment of field hospitals, contact teams, and the hospital ships, USNS Comfort and Mercy. Our projections show that things getting worse before they get better, but even as infection rates increase, our ability to respond effectively also increases. We're treating this with all the seriousness of a war. We don't lose wars, nor will we lose this fight. Just wanted to drop you a note and let you know that the folks working at this at the highest levels are burning the candle at both ends to make sure we take care of folks and get help where it is needed. Usually the government is only good at screwing things up, 28 years in the military makes me an expert on experiencing that, but I am extremely impressed with the level of effort and competence with, uh, with which we are handling things. Take heart and we'll get through it. Take care, Scott. So, you know, I'm just making this vlog to help me and maybe it helps other folks and it's just, you know, it's a waste of, of a good 10 minutes. Hopefully it's a good waste of time though. And to get a message like that is, uh, I felt really good reading it, so I really wanted to share it. And, you know, things suck, and they're going to get worse, they're going to get better. And there's a lot of people trying really hard to pull us through this, uh, I think, you know, across the board. And I really appreciate Scott and his service and everybody else that he works with and everybody up and down the line. And uh, sort of to sort of dovetail off of that, um, I have had a chance, I know a fair bit of people actually in the kind of the health industry. I've talked to two nurses back east and a couple of friends of mine that I grew up with down in California are in the health industry as like EMTs and uh, driving ambulances around, stuff like that, and in the uh, paramedics and the fire and things like that. And so they've been really, really hit hard depending on kind of where they live, you know. Uh, as you can imagine, folks like in New York City, are just slammed in the kind of the surrounding area, whereas it gets, you know, it's not as bad uh, elsewhere. And so, yeah, I just wanted to, if you get a chance to talk to somebody that is in the health industry or, or like Scott here is working uh, the logistics of it or just anybody, again, like even like a truck driver that's driving food to your local grocery store and that kind of stuff, if you get a chance to sort of, um, interact with them at all, just kind of try to be supportive and encouraging to them. Um, because I mean, you know, I'm just sitting here working from home. Like my task is to sit at home, stay at home, you know, go get food. Um, that's all we've been doing is whenever we go out, it's to get food or it's to walk our dog. And that's just in the neighborhood and there's a park up the street and it's all, six foot distancing, even though I know, I know some places in the world that you're not even allowed to go to the park. I think that's mostly urban areas, but you know, I don't, I'm an idiot. I don't really know what the rules are everywhere and what the rules should be. But you know, if you're out, keep your distance and, and try to stay sane and all that fun stuff. But, um, the other thing I wanted to tell you was of just a fun anecdote. Uh, our neighbor has a couple of kids and their son had a fifth birthday. Obviously, they couldn't have a birthday party, and I've seen this, what, what everybody did here. Uh, a lot of places, we did like a parade, so we all got in our cars. We met up at the grocery store uh, kind of around the corner here and then drove by and honked, and uh, their parents put up, uh, you know, like streamers and signs and things like that, and, and it was a complete, complete surprise. He had no idea, and it was just a great thing to see, and you can almost see like his, his two sisters <laughs> kind of jealous that the birthday was happening in this way. So you would think, oh, you know, um, you know, oh, it sucks. He doesn't get to have his birthday party with his friends at the house and ha do the whole thing and, you know, play the toys and the games or whatever they were doing. Um, but you could tell, like, it, was, it wasn't like a, a bad jealousy, but you can tell they were like, this is really neat. Like, I wish that my birthday I uh, had this. You know, they, they were just like, oh, it's so cool, it's so cool. So it's just strange, like, you get these strange little... I don't know, habits or new traditions or something. And, you know, we were joking around, my wife and I after, and we're like, 
I bet the those two gals will like they're like can we do a birthday like that instead <laughs> even you know even though when this is all over um, so anyway yeah so that's just what I want to share I guess I went 10 minutes <laughs> but yeah Guild Wars 2 uh, giveaway leave a comment good to go and again look for rolling dice and taking names check the description for uh, all the links to all this kind of stuff and uh, take care of yourselves and I appreciate you and I appreciate Scott and I appreciate all the healthcare professionals and uh, everybody please take care of yourselves I love you. Take care. Thanks.